when he came up with the the word camouflage assassin, I mean, he was a real MC. I would assassinate motherfuckers on his mic. Now they're going live with the boss 45 with the soft soul school way before they had charters. I was in the trenches, wasn't selling dope. Yeah, he ain't loved. Too, ain't, ain't too many people can get with me on this mic. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you, um, uh, I got to ask you about Mac. I'm not going to let you go until I ask you about these two people, Mac and Mia. So I got to ask you about Mac. Uh, when Mac was early on, we interviewed Mac when he came home. I'm not a big religious person, but I do pray. And one of the things and most important things I prayed for while incarcerated was I, I, I prayed, you know, just to not be black hearted. I didn't want to be um, bitter. bitter. This dude, man, went through so much, but he still was so humble, and he still was so forgiving, and he still was such a pure spirit dealing with this guy mm -hmm. that you it, you didn't sense anger or, or, or hate toward any situation that had became him. Just who was he to you when he left, before he left, when he comes home? Explain Mac to me. Man, the first thing I'm going to say, intelligent, prolific. Intelligent, prolific, humble, good, just all around good person. And like they say, the apple don't fall too far from the tree because his mama, Miss Sheila, his Big Mac, his daddy, just good people, man. Real talk, he just come from good pedigree. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Mac is just genuinely, when you see him, that's what it is. So we all knew when he caught that charge that that wasn't him. No, man, y'all got the wrong dude, bro, man. You know, come on, bro, I'm not Mac. You know what I'm saying? He, when he came up with the, the word camouflage assassin, I mean, he was a real MC. I would assassinate motherfuckers on his mic. Now they're going live with the boss 45 with the soft soul school way before they had charters. I was in the trenches, wasn't selling dope. Yeah, he loved. Ain't, ain't too many people can get with me on his mic. You know what I'm saying? So he, his flow, his choice of words, it just, I mean, to have him on the tank was just a blessing. Like, yeah, but we got us, you know what I'm saying? We got us an MC. It was Peter who sliced the man's ear. Yeah. Though he walked with his Lord, he still fear. Fear is the genesis that builds the nemesis. That kid not, not taking him anything away from the other ones, you know what I'm saying? But we got a dude who's resonant. He's oozing hip-hop. See, we had a hip-hop artist. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, had, yeah. A real hip-hop artist. The other one was going, with Mia, let's go with Mia. Let me take a quick sip. Go ahead. I want to ask you about Mac coming home and, and when you heard he was coming home, kind of how, and we're going to meet, but how he, how, where were you at? What did you think? And did you, had you have you seen him perform since he'd been out? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen Mac. You hadn't even seen him? I haven't seen him. Wow. We talk. You talk. talk. Oh, okay. We but talk. you hadn't seen him? I haven't seen him. You know, I'm still You've looking been, forward to doing it. Because you was up him. in, you've been in, where you at, that's kind of far. Mm -hmm. So when are you going back to New Orleans? Well, I would say later on this week. There you go. You going to link up with him? Hopefully. Hopefully, because he be moving around. You know, he doing video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, last time we was there, he was doing a video with Fiend, and mm -hmm. he moving around. He doing uh -huh. his thing right now. Now they're going live with the Boss 45, with the South Soul School, way before they had charters. I was in the trenches. Wasn't selling dope. Yeah, man, it went, when, when he got out there, it was like, man, about time, man. Yeah, about yeah. About time, you know, you know, the these people saw that this y'all had the wrong guy the whole wow. time. But he kept his, his um, composure. He, he stayed, you know, strong, stayed positive, stayed mad. Dang so, but to, for him to get out, just like a big, man, this is a big celebration. Man, ain't it a big celebration, big celebration man? man? I was so happy to talk with him. He talked about Scarface. You know, he went on uh, the uh, Ghetto Boys podcast. He, he been on Beehive. He been on he been on mine. You know this guy, man. Just love Mac, man. Just happen to embrace him and show him that we all happy to see him home and we believe in him. Oh yeah, shout out to Beehive too, as my dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never got yeah. to meet him. He followed me on IG. I followed him back, but well, I, I need to interview meet. each other. You know, that'd be hard. That'd be hard, interview, right? Yeah. Interview him, and he need to interview y'all. That'd be you know hard, man. Do that. You heard that'd it on Beehive. <laughs> Beehive, yes, man. I said it. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.